Hey Spencer. Hey Julia. So as I mentioned, I wanted to talk to you about Occam's razor. Um, I was hoping for some help figuring out how to think about the razor um, because it it comes up a lot in different, very different formulations, uh, in everything from colloquial debates, informal discussions to like formal justifications for the way science is practiced. Mm -hmm. And it's not really clear to me which of those formulations is really true, or some of them are, are just useful but not true, or some of them are just completely false. Mm -hmm. So let's start with the typical way that Occam's razor is stated just informally, which is usually something to the effect of simpler theories are more likely to be true. Is there... why would that be? Is there any reason to think that's the case? Well, certainly some physicists believe that the universe is inherently simple in some way, um, and they think that they're simple physical laws are more likely to be correct than very complicated explanations. It's not clear to me whether this is based on experience, like over many years of doing physics, whether they just found this tends to be the case, um, or whether it's based on their intuition. I'm not really sure. Uh, but certainly what we could say, can say is that many explanations of the real world that are true actually are complex. There are plenty of complex things in the world. So we really need some justification for Occam's razor. We can't just assume that it's going to be true. Yeah, I mean, my sense... I don't, I don't know what people are thinking when they cite it. My guess, if, if I had to guess, is that they're, they're not, is that all that they're thinking is something along the lines of, well, this very distinguished sounding fellow named William of Ockham laid out this rule in the 14th century, and it sounds very old and respectable, so yeah. QED. Like, I, I think that's sort of as far as the reasoning goes. Um, but interestingly, as you probably already know, the simpler explanations are more li likely to be true is not actually the way William of Ockham originally stated the razor. Right. His original formulation, he had a few different uh, paraphrased versions of it, but um, one of them was something, uh, I think it was from the Latin, uh, entities should not be multiplied without necessity. So this is usually taken to mean if you have two theories that are identical, except one of them has an additional assumption or an additional hypothesis added on, but they have equal explanatory power. Like they explain the, the data that you, you're observing or the phenomena that you're trying to explain equally well, then you should go with the one without the additional assumption or hypothesis. Mm -hmm. So that's a much weaker version of Occam's razor than most people think the, the razor is. Right. It's weaker and I'd say it's really quite reasonable. Uh, if yeah, you have right? an extra assumption that doesn't change your predictions at all, it seems hard to imagine how you could possibly even have evidence for that assumption. Right. I mean, I don't know if there's a, a formal way to prove this, but it certainly seems grounded at least on just basic uh, principles of logical reasoning. Um, right. The same principle that tells us to not just assume that there are intangible, invisible, and audible elephants all around us. Right. I would, I would say so. Um, and this, so this is the version of the razor that atheists use to argue that there's no reason to posit a god as an explanation for a natural or physical phenomena that we currently have a scientific explanation for, that like maybe it made some sense to have a God hypothesis back when we really had no idea why the Earth even existed or how there could possibly have come to be intelligent life forms like humans. Um, but now that we have explanations from physics and evolutionary biology for these phenomena, um, now the God hypothesis isn't doing any work. It's not doing any explanatory work and it's adding this whole additional layer of complexity. So there's, there's no reason to assume it. 